What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on one of our viewer accounts, Hitch, who is in a very interesting situation. We are going all in on this event, you can see we're at 149 of 150 right there, so the next one is in guaranteed A-. minus. Uh, so we have exactly one of these left and we need to decide what to do on this account He recently came back. He wanted to go all in on this event. Probably a smart idea He already has an a minus Lord of Fear Aspen here with giant killer to fire even control muted offset Which is pretty solid for a Lord of Fear Aspen and we were trying to decide what to do The options were go for something new like maybe a Williams because I mean Williams is coming out next week We don't know if he's gonna be good or not and if we take a look at the number of Williams on the auction house, well, there's next to none of them. So could it be worthwhile doing? Yes, because there are not many and people might be buying these up if the hero becomes really, really strong next week. We'll have to see. But the better play, I think, for the actual account is going for maybe a Betty because Betty also still sells at a decent rate. Granted, there's a bunch of them up here. Uh, the difference is he's already building a Betty. He's already going for Betty tenants and such potentially. So that might help the overall progress of the account because, of course, between Betty and Lord of Fear Aspen, you can just completely lock down enemies when it comes to the Void campaign. Yes, we even have bosses up. Let's see. We are to where? Four, three. Oh, gosh. My E. Ooh. No wonder we are stuck on this wave because even Betty in her purest form is not going to be able to do what we need to do because, of course, uh, with Betty... The nice thing is she can CC the enemy waves uh, until you get to Valkyrie, and then it turns into something that's just going to kill your own team. You can see right there, our Lord of Fear Aspen died immediately, probably because he has the wrong setup right now, I imagine. Yeah, he's got like Balance Strike, but this is a very common wave to get stuck on. Now, if we are going to do this, yeah, I, I would say going in for a Betty to potentially also be able to provide some damage. You never know, we can high roll with an S tier and get some immunities on her too, or sell her copy off. Betty still used a ton, we already have a Dragon Rui. I think just going in on this hero, probably the smart play. So, if we somehow hit an S tier... I think the play would be to sell it and maybe just buy like a giant killer. I don't know if there's any S tier Bettys up here. There are a couple and you can see even like a baseline S tier. Uh, they're both going for, you know, quite a bit, quite a bit. Again, man, it's tempting though. It's really tempting to maybe even go for Williams because you see Williams, Williams has a huge upside of, we don't know if the hero is going to be good. So it could potentially be absolutely crazy. I need to confirm one more second with Hitch. Yeah, I think Betty is definitely the play here. And we had what? We got one copy of Betty here anyway. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Now, I don't. I actually forgot to ask this. The pity still says 149, which means he went all 150 essentially without hitting an A minus or higher, which does feel like a really, really bad low ball here. But this is the moment. So what we really want to see here, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it in the past. When you hit the summon button, you'll see a green explosion. That means you hit an A plus or higher hero copy. Otherwise, it's going to be the regular blue explosion. This is our moment. Pretty please show us our SSS tier Betty right here. Oh, it was a blue explosion, which means these are going to be red and green. Red, red, green, not bad. I took a screenshot. Decent roll overall. We have control immunity offset, damage reduction, and holy damage. That's actually not a bad copy. Uh, but sadly, yeah, it was an A minus version here. So if we do jump in here and make the swap. Oh, wow. He actually had a B copy too. That's pretty crazy. That's actually really crazy. Um, so yeah, we're going to swap this copy out right here. And now what we have is another giant killer. And again, considering we didn't hit any of those special keywords, getting control immunity offset and damage reduction on Betty is actually really, really good. On top of that additional holy damage, since she hits so many times is pretty good. Now, do we want things like giant killer and defire? I don't know because we could re-roll this copy. Uh, where's the notes here? So A tiers. We could get things like Giant Killer. We can get things like Defire. Those could be good. Um, we could get, again, Control Precision and Control Immunity Offset. So that might be good. Beyond that, I think a lot of these are good. Again, the only keywords I think we really care about, I mean, we could get like Divine Block, Holy Armor, things like that for more survivability. 
I just don't think this necessarily needs the hammer because building on this account is smart. He's doing all the correct plays here. We're building up the Phantom to Fire Lana. We're building up the Scarlet Queen Halora. We're building this up to 120, it looks like. Working this towards 120. Let's take a look at the main hero. So we already have all this unlocked and we are, yes, 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 already up to a surge which is a plus two. So you can see right here, we got the two stars right here for Destiny Transition. That's really, really good. Granted, to get any stars, you gotta go all the way up to level three in the temple. That takes quite a bit because you are in the first place need three origin heroes. Uh, so this is good because again, putting all your investment into the Elena, working on potentially her core could be good. Uh, we do of course have a noble core already here. I guess unlocking the Betty isn't the worst thing in the world since we've already unlocked the core completely. I don't think I saw any other cores of origins or shards really. And as far as chess go, we got five single shards. Ooh, yeah. So we're really, really short. We got a hundred here, which can be used on like uh, the Scarlet Queen, which could be good. But again, you need to get all the way up to a noble one, which means we need a lot more of them. We need like six more of the 50 shard chests just to get there. And that does seem a little far off. Now, seeing that we hit an A minus and we didn't super high roll, it kind of makes me feel better that we did in fact just go for the baddie because this, this is gonna actually help this account. Now, I do think re-rolling it for at least Giant Killer would probably be a huge boost because you guys know Giant Killer is just ridiculously powerful. Like, you're essentially just getting double damage on that hero. And if you're using a Betty and locking down the enemy team, the double damage will potentially help clear things a lot faster. I do like that we have the other heroes like Hyperspace Hunter Islamok that helps with the Void Invasion bosses. And overall, this looks like a nice cookie cutter build. And I really, really like it. He did the right move if he is going for Betty. You most definitely need to get at the very least one core on her, but this one has level three. So when we are using her, it's going to be level four because we do have another noble core over here, which does mean the numbers go up. If you ever wondered how much more powerful they get, shows you the level eight version. Uh, you can kind of like figure out by looking at the level three and eight and kind of do the math to see what the difference is and then break that down over five additional levels to see exactly what you're getting. Or when you do jump into combat, like we saw here before, uh, when you jump in and you take a look here, it'll actually show you the numbers because you see plus three, plus one, it'll show you exactly what's going on here. Not a huge difference, but again, working on those other heroes is definitely going to be the next task for this account. Continue powering up that Lord of Fear Aspen while also side upgrading the, uh, I almost said Scarlet Queen Halora, the Therapist of Blood Betty. So if you guys want me to do this for your account as well, please let me know. It can give you a little bit of a mini count, tune up, things like that, and do your summons, even if it's just the free 10. I got a couple other people lined up for this weekend, a little busy, but if you guys are patient and you can wait, I'll definitely get to your stuff over the next week. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.